So this is part two of uh, New Moon at the 27th of October 2019 in Hilo. And uh, we've been talking in part one about Mars, poor Mars, all alone in the sixth house. The sixth house is a house, and this is only for Hilo now, and, uh, and surrounding of Hilo, not for, for any other place of the world. Um, uh, that uh, he tries to find justice, and he does that in a tedious way, in a repetitive way, and he's all alone, and he is uh, karmically, um, and this is a karma that is very, very, very old already, maybe hundreds or even thousands of years old, um, repetitive patterns of being cheated, of being uh, by illusions, by um, having been told fairy tales as if they were true. So he has a very hard time. And another reason why he has a hard time in feeling isolated and feeling uh, misunderstood and, uh, uh, and, and, and really, you know, uh, really to be uh, pitied is that convention here we have convention. We have very old, old institutions um, uh, that uh, that have uh, ruled our belief system, and they're hardened, and they're frozen. And uh, so somebody will tell you it's it's a law, uh, and uh, you know very well. You know it. You know it from your from your big toe to the top of your head and above and into your fingertips and above that, that it is a lie. But they are telling you and they're putting a gun on you and telling you this is the truth. Yeah, and this is the law and you know it's just the opposite of the law, it is the breaking of the law that you want to prevent. So um, right now, whoever is out there fighting for justice, have mercy, especially when it's males, because that is a very, 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 very hard stand, yeah, especially in this time. And as the Buddhists say, this too will pass. But um, um, don't take it out on, on your spouse, yeah, try to, uh, when you have major talks about your relationship with your closest people, with your most beloved, be very careful that particular time and do not take out on your spouse what a, 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 a crusty, old, uh, institutional, um, whatever, you know, crust is dictating you. This crust is coming off. This has, has to come off. And Ursh herself is doing it. She's shivering. Yeah. We've had the uh, volcano outbreak last year uh, in, uh, in Lower Puna. Yeah. Why? Well, because there was a geothermal plant that needed to drill into into an active volcano. You just don't do that. That's to that seems to be totally against the common sense, unless you know that this is an Israelic, Israel company that could care less if, you know, people somewhere in the Pacific are dying. Yeah. They could care less as long as they live and they make a, you know, just be a realistic about that. Uh, so, uh, so the earth is shivering. The earth is not dying. The earth is much stronger than we are. And, uh, 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 and, and many of these environmental movements now, they are giving much too, way too much uh, um, uh, uh, blame on human beings, especially, <laughs> you know, Joe Blow and Jane Blame, uh, 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 in German we would say, end consumer, you know. <laughs> those who, who, who have to spend the most money for the least goods, <laughs> put it this way. Um, 
Uh, so as Earth is shaking up, and we are trying to shake it, shake up in just in just institutions. Um, uh, we have to guard ourselves at this particular time because every new moon uh, sets uh, a new beginning, yeah, and every full moon represents in one or the other field, uh, which is very individual, fruition of things that have grown for a while, normally more than two weeks. Okay, but I want to talk also about positive things, and that is this triangle between Neptune, who is actually in charge of uh, 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 unconditional, unpersonal, universal love. That is, the, uh, that is the positive nature, and especially in Pisces of Neptune, is in a very, very beautiful, uh, harmonious uh, uh, angle of 120 degrees, you know, from here. From here, you know, here's this, uh, this be a third of the cake, yeah, uh, to Venus, and Venus is very close with Mercury. Also in Scorpio, and brings up uh, uh, what is... Uh, in the uh, uh, in the depths of the uh, of uh, of the Scorpio mud, uh, uh, Scorpio is uh, the swamp. Yeah, uh, while the the first water sign of uh, Cancer, that's the domain of the spring, and they're also for mother and uh, child. That's where the Madonna is uh, located. Uh, the Isis, uh, the mother of Horus, the Madonna, the Mar Mother Mary, that she is located here. In, uh, that's the spring. And uh, so the second uh, water sign, where the water is uh, in service of the eagle, just like uh, for the li lion, for the Leo, uh, the king, the uh, fire is in service of the eagle. and. Uh, uh, then uh, we come to the uh, to the uh, last uh, four uh, elemental signs: uh, fire of Sagittarius, Sag um, Capricorn, last earth sign, last uh, uh, air sign of uh, uh, it's Aquarius, and then the last uh, water sign where we have Neptune, where he belongs, where he's best at home, is Pisces, is the ocean. And they're all the little ego droplets, they're already gone already, yeah? All the little ripple waves, they can become a tsunami, yeah, if we're not careful. And we know that in Pisces, and that's where the mermaids are also located, and uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a very selfless uh, sign. Uh, uh, but the selflessness also uh, leads to being fantastic actors, storytellers, actors, but one can never really know if it's the truth or not because it's all very vague. It's all very uh, uh, clouded, it's misty, it's mysterious, and um, yeah, veiled would probably be the best. Uh, uh, the best uh, way to to describe something that is also clandestine and it is not well understood and also it has it has to be uh, protected like something sacred it has to be hidden and has to be protected okay that's the domain of Pisces and uh, so is very nicely here in communication with Venus and uh, Mercury together and uh, there can be clarification about the misuse of what we call love in general. You know, the, the whole, uh, we are experiencing a whole new twist of uh, perversions happening through uh, the so-called medical in industry, uh, uh, which all this, uh, 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 you know, pushed in the public media and everywhere, uh, gender uh, confusions, you know, like it's so much, there's so much surgery can be done that is uh, worth billions of dollars and uh, drugs that can be sold and, and shrinks can they make, can make so much money on, on these poor people who, 
who are not happy with the body they are born with because now the body has to be like kind of a machine and it has to function in certain ways and uh, that has to be controlled from outside not by us ourselves but we're having experts that control us and uh, uh, we have to bring our bodies to such experts and uh, uh, for them to slaughter us poison us very slowly but very surely and uh, uh, which giving us the most trouble possible in the process and taking the most money out of our pockets if we still have some as possible so that is about that so we can um, <coughs> you know w we are passing in uh, social medias we are passing back and forth uh, the slogan you know, like love heals all and whatever I personally that's just a very personal and very Pisces oriented uh, belief is I believe there is actually nothing but God. We are a thought of God. We are, yes, uh, <laughs> we're just like this droplets in the ocean of God. Yeah, there is, uh, uh, but uh, uh, sometimes I, I may swim alone with that, but I don't think so. And, uh, but it's a belief, yes. But within this belief, we have this bias. We have this uh, struggle of one polarity against the other and, uh, uh, and uh, 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 and it's all it, it's all even if it's a, it's an intellectual uh, uh, football game of uh, belief systems, uh, uh, whose god is more evil or whose Lucifer is more divine. As long as you know there are poles, you know opposing poles. So be very careful at that particular time with this energy and go into a really. Uh, Go into a fairy tale mode. Tell fairy tales instead of trying to prove a truth. Because uh, the moment you try to prove a truth, people will automatically uh, feel offended and will try to really hurt you or twist your words or so. So be very careful. And whatever tension you're in, um, uh, uh, no matter how passionately you are seeking justice, for now, just chill, because you're not going to get any results. Just chill and enjoy. Enjoy private time uh, uh, with your partner in, an, in a harmonious way. If you want to, uh, if, if words will, uh, 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 lead to argument, uh, give each other a foot massage. That's what a Pisces would say. Uh, sorry, I'm a Pisces. I don't have to apologize, but okay. Um, so, but because the Pisces, uh, here the Pisces air, area, domain, right here, that's the public. That's the public opinion right now. The public opinion is is pulled by its nose like there was a very beautiful uh, uh, nose ring in your beautiful nose and, peop and people would just be pulled with very beautiful chains but still they are on a nose ring and they're pulled in certain directions in a very subtle way by the public media, by the way our imagination is uh, triggered, especially if we are a lot of times on electronic devices like me. I love computers, I have to admit, but I also know it is a serious, serious addiction for billions of us. So we have to understand about the programming and uh, if that contains knowing about history, we have to go back very, very, very wide, not only hundreds of years, but thousands of years to understand uh, 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 where a, let's put it meta metaphorically, uh, where a, a strong, a beautiful, fruitful tree with beautiful flowers when it blossoms in spring has been bent artificially to go crooked. 
So this is the time to do it, but please, the moment you find yourself in argument, take a deep breath, a very deep breath. There's so much for now and today. If you have questions, please text me. I also have a phone now, but I'm sometimes anxious to use it because I'm not living alone and and uh, sometimes uh, sometimes people are sleeping around me because I like sometimes uh, uh, very very early hours so uh, be careful don't uh, don't at once call me uh, we can make a telephone uh, appointment but text me through Facebook and then we can make a telephone appointment uh, for personal readings thank you so much and have a beautiful time